Yeah, no sh** that I make any money. That was f***ing dust. Bruh. <laughs> Oh, that dude's a nerd. All right, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be starting a brand new series, and that is Falcon and the Winter Soldier series. Obviously, this takes place post-Endgame, where Captain America is gone. Steve Rogers is gone. He has retired. 90-something years old. He's senile. He can't fight anymore. He's done. He's gone, okay? He's done. So now, he passed the shield down to Sam. So Sam is now captain america and i'm guessing the show is about his transition to becoming captain america and we also got bucky in there because you know he was cap's best friend too so okay sounds late now we are going to be doing other mcu shows after this too it's been a while since we've done an mcu show so we're going to get back into them so we did loki already we did what if already then we have hawkeye and moon knight afterwards and then miss marvel she hulk and then i think that's all the mcu shows for now but yeah, that's the plan so far. So, so yeah, I'm super excited to get back into the MCU shows, get back with Sam and Bucky. So I'm gonna stop wasting time. We're just gonna hop right into this episode. If you'd like to watch the full length reaction, that'll be available on Patreon as well. Early access to the next two episodes of Falcon and the Winter Soldier will also be available on Patreon and YouTube membership. Click the join button down below. So anyways, let's get started. You can tell he has a lot of respect for the shield. How does it feel? Like it's someone else's. Yeah, and it doesn't feel like it's his. It isn't. Do you know how hard that would be to accept? That you're the new Captain America? But you do have a GSP, he's back! Yeah, I guess he never died in um Winter Soldier. Oof. Oh, pilot dead. Captain Fassant, let's get you out of here. Ah! Ooh. Hey, Sam has wings too. He probably he's gonna fly better than any of them, actually. Like he's gonna get it's gonna get the captain. I like the GoPro shot, assuming that was a GoPro, and they actually, yeah, like this. They probably actually are in wingsuits, right? Yeah, like right here. They probably all, they all actually have wingsuits on. They're all skydiving. That's sick. Ooh. Dude, Red Wing's a neat little sidekick. That That's a new thing, right? They, they definitely didn't have that in Infinity War or Endgame. Bro, do you know how fucking sketch that would be? No, easily, if you just go a little too high, you just get fucking chopped up in the blades. Do you know how much precision you would need with that wingsuit to knock it chopped up in the helicopter blades? He's not gonna follow. What's up? Right here. Dude, the cinematography of this, scene, of this chase scene right here is insane. It's really good. It's chopped up a bit quick, but I can still tell what's going on. I like how they give Sam the GoPro shots too, because obviously his Sam's GoPro shots aren't real, but they give you those to kind of make you feel like it is, because they give you real shots of the guys in the wingsuits. I hope those are real shots of the guys in the wingsuits. It looked real. Ooh. Oh, thank God. G oh, thank God GSP survived. I hope GSP's character just never dies. Like, I hope he, like, I hope he just continues forever. Every single, he gets away every single time just because I really like seeing him. I would be totally fine if he got away every single time just so he can come back. Because he's not like a main villain or anything. He's just a little side villain. So it's like, I don't think it's that big of a deal to keep him alive. Right there. You see these guys? These are the guys you got to worry about. I've been stumbling onto their manifestos on message boards. They call themselves the Flag Smashers. Basically, they think that the world was better during the blip. Trust me, it, it wasn't. Trust me, every time something gets better for one group, it gets it's worse for the another. Yeah, yeah, especially these people, they, they want a world that's unified without borders. A few months ago, billions of people reappeared after five years away. We need new heroes. 
I kind of put motion blur on the on the shield just as he picks it up. Kind of makes it look more aerodynamic. So today we honor Steve's legacy, but also we look to the future. Thank you, Captain America. But this belongs to you. Ooh. He's not going to take it. I mean, yeah, like I was trying to say earlier before the action picked up. Do you know how hard it would be for him to accept this damn shield? For anyone to accept the shield. Like, no matter who gets it next, they're going to have imposter syndrome. No matter what you've proved, you're never going to feel like you've actually earned it. Because, you know, it's like, that happens a lot in jujitsu. Like, you get your next belt, and you feel like an imposter. Like, you're not this next belt. Even when, like, you get your black belt in jujitsu. I don't have my black belt, but I've talked to people who have theirs, and they say... When they finally got it, they didn't feel like they were a black belt just because it's been something they've been working towards for so long. And they like from their their first perception of it was such a high standard doesn't feel right to think that they're actually there. You know what I mean? Like they feel like an imposter, even though they're they're good enough to be a black belt, but they just feel like an imposter. By someone else is Steve. The world's broken. Everybody's just looking for somebody to fix it. I think that's my favorite version of a suit, honestly. Oh my gosh. Oh, okay, it's Bucky. Hell Hydra. Yeah, this is before like civil this is before he was introduced again. This guy has nothing to do with anything. Just let him go. Wait, well, he's a witness, I guess. I didn't see anything. Just open the door for him. Open the door for him. I didn't see anything. Just open the door. I didn't see anything. <laughs> oh, okay, it was like a dream he had. He feels all the guilt, all the remorse. Are you still having nightmares? You're a civilian now. With your history, the government needs to know that you're not gonna... Be a threat. Go fucking AWOL again, you know? Senator Atwood. She was a Hydra pawn for years. After Hydra disbanded, she continued to abuse the power I gave her. You can't do anything illegal? Mm, that's not fun. Oh. <laughs> rule number two. What was rule number two? <laughs> oh, he definitely did. I completed rule number three. I am no longer the Winter Soldier. I am James Bucky Barnes, and you're part of my efforts to make amends. All right, give me a break. I'm trying, okay? This isn't... This is new for me. I didn't have a moment to deal with anything, you know? I had a little calm. And other than that, I just went from one fight to another for 90 years. So, now that you've stopped fighting, what do you want? Probably just want some peace, bro. Peace. Yeah. That is utter bullshit. Fine, I'll just go murder people. <laughs> like. Soldier. So I saw a lot of dead bodies, and I know how that can shut you down. And if you are alone, that is the quietest, most personal hell. He, he's so used from going the mission to mission. So put him on more missions, then give him a mission. I mean, it'd be hard to give him a mission without him, like, killing someone, I guess. But. Have them go link up with Sam. I mean, I'm guessing they do because they're both the main characters of the show, so. Hey, man, I'm, I'm unique. It's like Monique, but it's got a U in there for uniqueness. <laughs> Nobody made it past 19 this week. Damn. So young. Such a shame. You should ask her out. Yeah, get a girlfriend, maybe. He would like to take you out on a date, mm. maybe to- I'm really sorry about him. Why are you sorry? I'm game. Tomorrow night's great. Bro, that's the best wing man ever. What's wrong? Watashi no musuko. My son. Daifuku daif- Aww. He was working abroad. And he was killed. The police said, wrong place, wrong time. I will never know what really happened to- I felt it was strange in here. What a Bucky kill him? Wasn't that dude in the flashback? In his dream or whatever? That'd be fucked if it was. Like, what a coincidence. Because the Bucky, that was just someone random, a witness, you know? But 
who would have thought 20 something years later i don't know what year he did that in so let's say he did that in 93 30 years later you're getting dinner you're getting lunch with his father what are the odds guessing this show takes place in 2023 too because that was when everyone came back in endgame so could be 2024 by now but it doesn't matter it doesn't matter it doesn't matter held together by duct tape and prayer it'll be fine it just needs to float long enough for me to sell it we were going to discuss if we were selling it we did and then you were all fighting dr space cape or whatever while i was holding it now that the world is going back to normal this thing's got to go we grew up on this thing it's not just mom and dad's name on it sarah this thing is a part of our family you know this but what if we don't have to sell it can i talk to you what's good big sam oh what's going on i'm just like sam i don't want to sell shit like, I create such an attachment to all my things. Like, hell no. Like, if I grow up with something, I'm not selling it. <laughs> doing everything I can to keep this business afloat. And every day I'm making five and spending ten. You're out there. I do things my way here. Right, but you tangled the house into this when you took those loans. Oh. What if you had money to fix it up? We can take a loan and consolidate everything. It'll take down your monthly. What? You think I didn't try the banks? They're in with all that big business. Yeah, but now you have me. Don't, Sam. I just got to deal with this. All right. Maybe it really is just time for us to move on. Either way, just let me help. I'll set the appointment. To the rescue, huh? Always. I mean, yeah, she doesn't want to sell it either, but she it seems like she kind of has to to keep her business going and stuff. Try the whole online dating thing. It's pretty crazy. <laughs> A lot of weird pictures. Tiger photos. <laughs> a lot sound like my dad mm. hey Robogi, what are you gonna do when How old are you 106 <laughs> no he, he literally answered that like, gloves yeah see i was just about to say what are you gonna do when they're like why do you always wear gloves poor circulation hmm. okay or like if she wants to hold hands she's gonna feel the metal through the glove be like what the fuck she's like what kind of fucking luke skywalker hand is that Side note, I totally think Sebastian Stan should play a young Luke. That's perfect. Yeah, I'm look, dude, he looks so much like Luke right here. I would I would love it if they did that. Obviously, since Mark Hamill is a bit older, can't really play him young self anymore. I would not mind Sebastian at all. I'm 100 percent for that. Because he looks like him and he's a great actor, so I know he would respect the role and he would do it right. So I think it's really sweet you're spending time with Yori. It's been hard for him since I think not knowing how it happened is the hardest part for him. It really messed him up. Your parents die, you're an orphan. No word for someone whose kids die. Hey, what are you doing here? Ah, uh, yeah, it was him. Or you just had to see for me. It was, it was good. Damn. Look, I know you're worried, all right? But I did the research. I ran the numbers. You really think this is going to work? I know it will. And these are... Shh. We got to go. Wait, the appointment's an hour. There's no such thing as on time. You're either early or late. Pick one. Mm-hmm. If you're not early, you're late. Hmm. <laughs> Pretty subtle. Very subtle, actually. Well, we're about to commit a crime, so... Ooh. Damn! Bro, you ain't stopping this guy. You're not stopping him. Under arrest. Jesus. Oh, you're dead. Oh, you're 100% dead. He's just, dude, do you see the fool has the most kicking power I've ever seen in my life? And he stomps on your face, you're dead. Your face is squashed. You're Obrey and Martell, okay? Yes, man. Oh, I didn't I want to say anything, you know. <laughs> I always wanted to be an Avenger. Uh yeah, you don't want to be that guy who's like, I'm an Avenger, so I'm gonna I'm gonna need a, the best loan we can get. Like, nah, you don't wanna do that. You don't wanna do that. How do you guys make a living? You mean those guys or the guy sitting in front of you trying to get a loan? Both. <laughs> I mean, your financials are all over the place. Is there some kind of fun for heroes or? Yeah, do they even get paid? <laughs> Thank you, but no, it doesn't really work like that. There's mm -hmm. a tremendous amount of goodwill, and because of that, people are inclined to help. Which, what? 
applies to the business. Right, but you couldn't have been living off of goodwill this whole time. Yeah. You have no income over the last five years. How can you have income if you don't exist? Sarah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no shit, I didn't make any money. I was fucking dust. I have government contracts, so that's proof of earnings, and I know for a fact that we qualify for SBA loan. Under the old terms. Oh, we just made up new terms? I'm just showing up while things tighten up. Fine. I know your family has banked with us for generations, but we cannot approve you. Damn. I'm truly sorry. Well, dude, what the fuck are they supposed to do? Like, they didn't, they didn't exist for five years. Like, we're going to get that loan. I don't care if I have to go to every. Like, what? You just got to work for like another five years straight, build up an income, whatever. Bro, Sam, just uh, reach out to fucking Pepper and be like, yo, be like, yo, Pepper, can I get a hundred bands? That's nothing to you. Yeah, well, half the boat's mine and so is the house. We're not selling our family's legacy. Like, what's what's Tony Stark like actually worth? Like, a couple billion or something? You think Pepper, at least Pepper, would pay out all the Avengers who actually need the money? Like, Sam, Bucky, Bruce Banner, everyone who needs money who still live on Earth. Pay them all out, like, 20 million or something? You know, they can afford that. But obviously, like, Thor and the Guardians don't need money. So, like, Tony must have gotten a prenup or something. <laughs> oh, you got. He's strong. He was. I mean, bro, they went dark as soon as it was all over. What are you thinking? Nothing. Wait, you don't think you could be a... Look, I'll circle back to you. Mm. While we love heroes who put their lives on the line to defend Earth, we also need a hero to defend this country. We need someone to inspire us again. Someone who can be a symbol for all of us. Your new Captain America. What? <laughs> Who the fuck is this? Who the fuck is this? Watch, it's it's just some fucking nerd, dude. It's no, there's no way. Bruh. <laughs> Hell no, bro. Hell no. That dude's a nerd. <sighs> Alright, any post credit scenes for this episode? No, no post credit scenes. Okay, cool. All right, so nice introduction to the characters to show us where they're at right now in their lives. But I guess they replaced Sam with a new Captain America. All right. All right, that dude looks like a nerd. But um, I mean, he was like, I'm not going to be Captain America. No one can be Steve. I don't want to be the next Captain America. I want to be the first Sam Wilson. I want to be the first Falcon. You know, that's probably what Sam's thinking too. Okay, I'm curious to get introduced to the new Captain America, I guess. See what he's about. See what, if he's actually capable or not. Is he on the serum? Is he on the secret sauce? Is he on the the Sazul or what? Is he sauce to the gills like Steve was? I don't know, probably. That would make sense, because if he's just a dude, hell no, that's never gonna work. It, they probably don't actually need him to go and fight, it's just publicity, and just for the public to feel safe, because they have a new hero, so just for the public image. Maybe, I don't know, we'll see, we'll find out in the next episode, but, but yeah, Bucky's obviously dealing with his past demons of when he was the Winter Soldier, and just murdering everyone, and he murdered that dude's son. That, that's actually really sad because you know he obviously was being mind controlled at the time he wasn't under he wasn't in control of his own mind or anything so it's like fuck the program was to just take out take out your target no witnesses murder everyone it's like damn he was a hell of a mercenary hell of an assassin but like you're seeing the repercussions of it now so but he's trying to get his life back he's trying to just live a normal life which i don't think he ever will be be able to again because he's so used to just going on missions and stuff like you can't just expect him to go and do nothing and just be a normal person like i don't think so and then sam's trying to live his normal life with his sister right there they're trying to fix their business and everything so yeah that's fucked up though how they can't get a loan because they don't have any income for the last five years like bro i didn't exist like wh like what are you supposed to do just work for the next five years i guess to get proof of income like you know how annoying that would be that would be so devastating and just so demoralizing but they're gonna try and work on getting a loan a different way, so. And yeah, like, what the fuck, Pepper? Like, I didn't know that Tony's gone. It's like, you figure Pepper would have the heart to pay out the Avengers. Like, let's, um, let's see. Okay, like, the phase four Avengers, like, bro, if I'm Pepper, I'm paying out a swift 20 million to Sam, to Hawkeye, to Peter Parker, to, um, what's his face? To Bucky to just to wanda to bruce banner anyone who lives on earth and is just a normal dude who lives a normal life i'm paying them out like you might as well like what's really preventing pepper from doing that now that tony's gone and i'm assuming now she's in charge of all the wealth 
Tony Stark's net worth is $12.4 billion. Okay, yeah, they could easily afford to pay out every Avenger a cool 100 mil, no problem. Like, what the fuck? Like, they deserve at least 100 million. Like, what? Yeah, you just helped us beat Thanos and bring back half of the population in the entire universe. Yeah, I'm, you don't get shit, though. Sorry, go fuck yourself. You can have this fucking certificate from us, you know? But you can have this metal that costed $2.50 to manufacture. So here you go. Like, what the fuck? What? What? No, that is bullshit. Like, you know what I'm doing if I'm Sam then? Next time, a world level threat comes in. I'm not responding right away. I'm, I'm holding out. I'm holding out of the contract. I want a new contract. I'm holding out. Okay. I want a hundred million guaranteed or I'm not fighting. Like what the fuck? Cause even if I die, give that money to my family. I don't care. Cause at least they'll have generational wealth. Like, what? like dude, that's such bullshit. How none of the Avengers are paid for what they did. They've helped save the world multiple times. Okay, think about it. If you're if you're Captain America, you you never have to pay for anything in your life. You're getting everything for free, honestly, cause you're Captain fucking America. But Tony, you're just you're cashed out already. Bruce Banner. Yeah, I feel like Bruce Banner is already pretty wealthy though on his own. I don't know. Peter Parker is in the same boat where he has nothing. He doesn't have money. Like he doesn't have money. Like, like that i don't know oh and dr strange too like, oh he was a fucking brain surgeon so like he's racked out but still but yeah that was falcon and the winter soldier episode one comment down below what you thought about this episode down below in the comments and if you like the video like the video and thanks for watching